Hi guys, Miss Richo here. Um, for a little bit of fun, I thought we'd do a little bit of pixel art this week. To do pixel art, what we have to do is first get into our Google Apps account. To get into pixel art, we want to use the software called Google Sheets, okay? And that can be found on Google Apps for Education. If you can't access Google Apps, then what you can do is go to Excel software. Okay, Excel software is down on the bottom. You press the start button and then click in E for Excel and Excel comes up like that. It'll load in a minute, like so. I suggest that we use Google Sheets mainly because practicing to log into our Excel uh, Google Sheets account, sorry, practicing to get into our uh, Google Apps account, um, that's a really big thing that we wanna be practicing as much as possible. So log in, log out, log in, log out, as much as you can so that it becomes an automatic thing because you'll need it through education. Okay, as you go through to year 12. Anyway, we'll get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get up there and click on our Google Apps access. This time we wanna to go to Google Sheets. But before we do, what I suggest is you go to Google Classroom, like so. Okay, so once we're in Google Classroom, what we need to do is go to the classwork here. And once loaded, you will see Pixel Art or Excel. So. Um, you click on pixel art here and view the assignment and we're going to get started. Now the best way in Google Apps for Education is by pressing, um, you're going to add an assignment, you're going to add a Google Sheet here. So if you press here and go down to Google Sheets, it will actually automatically attach a Google Sheet to your assignment. So at the end, you're pretty much just marking it or handing it in there, as you can see here. Okay, so I've got that. So in here, we're gonna click on here, and that gets us started on Google Sheets. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna reformat the Google Sheets, and that way, by reformatting the cells, because what we've got here is we've got columns here, we've got rows here, so this is what the students are gonna be learning, what a row is, and then we've got what's called cells, and these become very important as we start to use Excel. So it's a fun way of learning, choosing your cells and reformatting these cells. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do with Google Sheets is we wanna reformat it so we can do a bit of pixel art. Okay, because at the moment, they're sort of a rectangle shape, and what we want to do is make them into pixels, which is square, okay? It's like when you're taking photos, you've got little mega pixels and they all join together like on a television they all join together into mega pixels like so and so what we want to do is try and do the same sort of thing and we're going to make a, a really cool little picture okay so this is pretty much what we do we click up right up in the corner and what that does is it selects all of the sheet okay from then what we do is we get up here you'll see the icon um as you move you've got your you've got the uh, icon you move it up just between the a and the b like so so that the two arrows are sort of pointing out and that means when you click on your mouse you can drag your mouse across and you want to make it a as as square as possible like so okay and there you have your google sheet like so Okay, from there what we wanna do is generally the kids might wanna make the Google Sheet, at the moment it's A to Z. They may wanna make it a little bit bigger. So from there you click on here and what you do is right click and insert some more columns. Okay, right there like that. Okay, in Excel, it, it, it's just infinity. It goes forever and ever and ever. All right, um, whereas Google Sheets will only do from you know, A to Z but we wanna make it a little bit bigger to make it a little bit more fun for the kids. The next step now is what we wanna do is open up another tab up the top, like so. And in that tab, we wanna Google easy pixel art, like so. I'm not gonna put uh, Minecraft. Now, the reason I put easy, it just makes it a little bit easier for the little preppies, grade one, twos. Um, and then I go to the easy pixel art images here. If you just Google pixel art, what happens is you get really full on pixel arts because it is actually an art and a lot of people like to do big, huge murals and things like that. So the easier ones are a lot better for the for the preppy one too. So what we want to find is a pixel art that we can actually count the cells. Okay, so we want to, you know, pick something that's really easy just to start off. So I generally will start with something like a little love heart here. 
Yeah, probably that one or a little Santa Claus. Kids always love Santa Claus. The other thing to look out for is inappropriate content. Okay, that's really important to explain to the kids. When we're Googling, it's really important to, if you see anything that makes you feel like you have a bit of a sore tummy, you're not happy with that, you need to close that, okay? And that's all part of our cyber safety that we teach it because Google obviously is not going away. All right, so sometimes I will pick for the grade one, two, something like a smiley face here or the um, Super Mario like so. But today what I'm gonna do is start off with something as simple as when it's your first go, you wanna start off with something like a, a little love heart or something like that. That's really, really easy where they can count Okay, but we want them to also be able to change the colors. All right, so I might start with this one here. There you can see, they can see one, two, black, and so on. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna split screen. So what means, what that means is when you're splitting the screen, mainly taught in the one twos, or when you're changing between tabs, like you would start, if you're changing between tabs, they've gotta to learn to go from here. Okay, I wanna do one, two, black and they will go one, and they look up for the bucket, and they go black, and then they go black. And, and this is like, sort of like starting to code. Okay, so binary is like, binary is black and white, or one mm -hmm. and zeros. So with pixel art, we teach this because it starts to teach kids what ones and zeros, it's like a coding, black and white, ones and zeros, same sort of coding or binary okay and that's where that that's the foundation of coding them and 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 being able to, to do a sequence of steps okay from there what we do is we can split between here and we go okay well below that one so what we're doing is we're learning direction below directly below there are two red so then we go back up to our thing and we click on here and we want to change our bucket to a two two pixels of red like so then we click back here and we go okay next to that one there is well next to this one there's a black and then next to that one there's a black okay so we go back and we go next to this one is a black and as you can see you're actually learning here you're going mm, this this is like coding because you're having to know left and right this way that way besides in front etc okay then we go back into here and we go, okay, what's, there's one below. There's actually two black below. Okay, so we go back and we go one. So we want black again, two. And they're counting as well. That's another skill that they're learning. Okay, I want to fill in this part. So what goes under the red? So we click here and we look, oh, there's two red and two red here. Okay, so again, one red and another red, like so. And then we remember there was another one, another red here, and another red here, like so. And we continue with that love heart till we're finished. Now, a quicker way, and which I explained earlier, was through a split screen. Now, this comes in really handy when you're working with two different documents and you don't want to keep switching back and forward, back and forward. You want it to be so you've got one on one side of the screen and the other on the other side of the screen. I call that a split screen. Split your screens. And the students know straight away, we click, from, click up the top of the tab and you move it away like so. Okay, and that, that moves it. You don't want to push it right up the top, but just like that. Okay, and then when you click here, you're able to separate it. And again, we want to pull this pixel art down off the main page. Okay, from there, what we do is then minimize through here. Well, restore down, so click that way. Okay, that way, what we've got is we've got our two windows. Now to move, obviously one's overlapping the other and that's not gonna work, is it? So what we do from there is we move our cursor and you can see the cursors here. We move it on the edge and we click and drag that cursor across to about halfway of the screen. Then again, we click on this one and again, we move the cursor, we click. So we've got those two arrows again 
and we click and drag it across like so. And that's gonna make it a lot easier, again, to be able to recolor. And you can see here, now I've got the two like so. So I click again, and this time, oh, it's got, you know, we're, we're gonna have to go more here so that we can get to our bucket. Now again, our bucket is red, uh, black here, because we've got two cells of black, two cells of black there, and then we go up, it's sort of like in a direction. Now some students might need to feel comfortable doing it by lines. So they may go two black, then we go two black again, and here we've got the two red here. So I'll show you another short color. If you click and drag and select both, you can actually go and do two at a time. But that's, you know, if you can't do it that way, the more clicking and dragging that students are doing, the better. All right, and then we just finish it off. So we want to go three down. Now, like so. I'll show you another shortcut, which is a bit fancy, where you click and drag, and then you drag your mouse down, and you can fill it in there. But again, I really would like the students to be comfortable with clicking and dragging and using these options up here. And there you go. That's pretty much how we do it with pixel art. Um, you can, if you think that looks a bit flat, you can again go back into the corner and using your the um, tabs up the top, I'm just gonna click on that. So remember to click more if you need to add colors here when you've got a smaller screen. And I just wanna move those, for, move those over a little bit so it's square. Um, to help students, I suggest like when you're selecting the whole sheet, sometimes by going more and being able to um, put in borders here, mm -hmm. all borders by selecting all borders, that actually can help um, the students, you know, with the squares, just counting squares, etc. Okay, when we're finished, what we do is we just go down to here and open back up our main page here. And we wanna just press hand in and that literally, the Google Sheet that you've been working on is now ready to hand in. And that's what you do at the end of the session. So just press hand in and it'll come up with this box and you press hand in again and that submits your work. All right, guys, I hope you really liked that lesson on creating pixel art using Google Sheets. Um, again, you can use Excel if you feel more comfortable. Really, it's just about learning another way of, number one, opening up Excel, being able to recolor the different cells, and we wanna really co concentrate on what columns are, what rows are, selecting cells, um, recoloring or reformatting is what they call it, those cells, okay? I hope you really enjoyed this video. Have a go, it's a really fun activity and the kids really get a lot out of it. It's probably one of the kids' favorite ones that they do on Excel. Okay, have a nice day, catch you later. I can't wait to see what you've done, bye.